Good morning, folks. Kicking off with a good article and graphic here on nitrogen dioxide and the trapped heat. I have also linked below the stereo image artifact page. All the satellite anomalies you see on YouTube videos these days are mostly a product of ignorance. Mr. Third Day Watching Satellites thinks he's found something, doesn't want to hear this, and I'm sorry, but it is what it is. There's very real stuff happening right now, but 99.9% .9 of the satellite videos you see from YouTube amateurs are doing little more than killing our credibility. Moving on. There was a 4.5 near Iceland yesterday. Will someone please make sure Kotla took her sleeping pill? Also had a tremor south of Easter Island near that fault convergence. One buoy in event mode. Not really much of an event, though. Perhaps even more the lack of data. Interesting story out of Manitoba where they don't know if a huge electric arc from a power station caused a green flash in the sky or if it was an asteroid. Cyclone Amang is small, trekking west slowly, not very strong. Australia will get a slight break from the killer heat these coming days. Thunderstorm zones in New Zealand as well. Europe with an isolated low spinning counterclockwise as they always do in the north, bringing a significant amount of rain to the southern states and there's more to come. Like in Malta, updating yesterday's hailstorm story with pictures. Out west, Another low in the North Pacific is churning moisture over land just in time to smack cold, dry air and dump itself onto Canada, Alaska, and a little further south. The watch zones this evening are a product of winter storm Helen. Up north we might scoff at it and forget the icy driving jokes. It's no joke when the trees down south have all their leaves and hundreds of pounds of snow on branches takes out power lines. Snow will make its way north by the weekend. The first CME was supposed to strike this morning, it technically began last night and peaked in the orange density there without much change in the wind speed. The impact was weak, won't cause damage, just inductions and PC1 pulsations. Look bottom left on the sun, a filament rips away from the limb and away from earth producing minor ejecta, but does so just in time for the SDO to go haywire as happens from time to time. When it cuts back in, you can tell we just missed an eruption on the bottom right. Well, no worries. We go to the GOES X-ray imager. Bottom right, you can see that flare. And again, not a bad tool. The flare was long duration, low energy. See flare status pumped out an enormous CME, however, which might even clip Earth. Here it is on the last GOES C3. But wait, the Earth footprint has been connected to that region for days. And after that long duration flare and CME, it got shot up to that mega spot, which is still decaying. That means it got surged. That magnetic connection is legit. Charged particle events began shortly after our tether to the sun got that surge. And since our planetary energy is in flux again, with more space weather coming, Mercury set to conjoin the sun, and perhaps another coronal hole turning in, the quake watch continues with a look at what's coming through August. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.